Hello everyone, welcome to ecomhardy.com. This is Hardik Patel and this is the part two of how to fix the high CPU seconds usage of your WordPress website inside ground hosting. So let's get started. This is very crucial video on top of the first part of the video which I made a year ago. This is uh, again um, fulfilling all the missing steps I didn't record in the part one. So watch this video till end and definitely it will help you to reduce this high CPU second usage. You can see here um, on the side ground hosting I have the CPU second usage above 2000 uh, per hour which is around 2628 for one website here and uh, you can al always toggle off and on and check which website is causing the high CPU second usage okay now once I know this website is causing this issue I have to go to the websites and uh, by the way if you want to check these statistics you can go always to service under the side ground and manage under the manage go to statistics and where you can get all these CPU second usage data now go to websites and under the website go and select the particular website which is causing the high CPU second usage go to site tools here and under the site tools uh, you have to make few tweaks so uh, first of all go to security and make sure it's HTTPS and force on SSL is active okay and this is crucial part block traffic okay so you can block unnecessary countries traffic where you are not selling your products or services simply add the country here and uh, select the country where you don't want the traffic to come uh, and visit to your website so and then select block and that way the country would be added into the block list which really really help your website to reduce the high CPU second usage. Now, second thing you have to go is speed and go to caching. Sometimes memcache cause some issues and conflicts if you are using other plugins, other caching plugins than the uh, default side ground plugin. I'm using the Swiss, which is not working well with memcache, uh, default memcache of side ground. So I am turning the memcache off. By the way, before you turn the memcache off, you can always flush the cache and then toggle off. Second, you can go to CDN option here and make sure you activate the default CDN settings, which SiteGround provides for free of cost, so you can take an advantage of it. So simply select your domain and then activate the CDN. Now, once you have done all these steps, you can always go to statistics here and check the error log and find out what plugins or services are causing any particular errors. Also, you can go to access log and check the access of uh, what services are accessing your website. And if any particular plugin or services are accessing your website again and again, uh, you always have to think about and make sure you work on it. Now once you check the access log and figure out which one is accessing your website again and again, you can always remove that particular plugin or services. Then uh, once you always check all these things, go back to your WordPress admin panel and update all the plugins, you know. So there you can see here there are a lot of plugins which requires the update, uh, new version update. So I would update all these plugins one by one. And uh, I also have to, uh, after checking the error log and access log, I have to figure out which plugin is causing a lot of errors and issues. And I found this plugin, this particular plugin, which called Oliver POS, is um, taking a lot of CPU seconds uh, off this website. So I rather decide not to use this plugin and find any particular alternative and see whether it helps or not. So after so this is before recording before i decided making this video i turn on this plugin i activated this plugin um, to check whether it is affecting the website and you can see if i go to the uh, statistics here services and manage and statistics before i activated this particular plugin if i show you the data here uh, on the day before 
this plugin was active the CPU second usage is very low uh, and this is the time where the CPU second usage was high when the plugin was activated on the website so Oliver POS is definitely a culprit for high CPU second usage for this website so I would definitely avoid using that and that will definitely fix the issue so hopefully it will help you to figure out and fix the issue CDN takes a lot of burden off your high CPU second usage so make sure you use CDN if you are not using SiteGround hosting you can use other CDN options which are available in market Cloudflare is one of the best and free CDN service available in the market so if you are using other hosting than SiteGround feel free to go to Cloudflare and activate their services and you know use on your website and that will definitely help you out apart from that uh, one more thing is make sure you use this security plugin on your website all in one WP security if you don't know the settings once you activate this plugin check out the link given in description field below for full-on settings guide uh, which I made about a month ago before I recorded this video so that settings video will definitely help you out how to set up this plugin properly and all these things including barbecue firewall plugin and black hole for bad bots plugin activated it will definitely help uh, reduce high CPU seconds usage of your website and also reduce the lot of uh, you know bad bots queries and bad bots attacks on your website thanks for watching this video guys if you feel like this video has been helpful to you somehow please subscribe to my channel and also thumbs up to this video and please share or comment on to this video that will be really helpful to me to make more and more useful content in the future thank you very much for watching this video see you next time bye bye take care